When it comes to a grinder's flat platen, you want two things in knife making. You want it to be flat and you want it to stay flat. Many grinders come with a mild steel platen that requires periodic surface grinding since they dish out over time with abrasives getting caught between the back of the belt and the platen itself. If you don't perform this maintenance, you'll notice it's a lack of flatness by the imperfection on the ground bevels of your knives. To combat this issue, many will use glass platens which offer a flat surface that is resistant to wear. I've used a glass platen in the past, and while they work, I did find them fragile. I actually cracked mine by accidentally ramming it with the work rest on my grinder, and then took it off and just went back to the mild steel method. I've also seen some use hardened A2 steel platens with success, so keep that in mind when investigating options. So like I said, up to this point, I have been using mild steel platens that I surface grind every once in a while, but those days are now over. Robin at RD Knives reached out to me and offered an 8-inch carbide face platen for testing back in June of 2024, and this is the solution that I'll be covering today. The kit from RD Knives came with some M6 bolts, but I found them to be too short for the brackets on my Northridge grinder. This is an easy fix with a little stainless steel M6 bolt kit from Amazon. When mounting, I like to have my platen in line or slightly proud of the top and bottom wheels. A long, rigid straight edge really helps with this process. You also need to make sure that the platen is parallel with your belts, otherwise you'll get some asymmetry in your plunge lines. So far, it's been a breeze grinding with this carbide-faced platen, and it's nice to know that it's not slowly creeping out of flatness over time. All you gotta do from time to time is to clean the gunk off with a razor blade and return the face of the platen to its mirror smooth finish. This gunk builds up on the face of the platen due to not only the dirt on the inside of the belt, but also the glue on the seam. Right now he's selling these for around $140, and in my opinion, this is a fair price for gaining the peace of mind of a perfectly flat platen face all the time. I'll put a link and buying information in the description below. Hopefully this little review gave you all some ideas for upgrading your 2x72 belt grinder. I hope all of y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.